Hey, good Saturday, everybody. I want to weigh on in the Oakland Tough Shed conversation and say that it's very disappointing to point to 30 or 40 of these sheds which have no heating or plumbing and throw them off as if to the public and a media perspective as if they are a success when in point of fact they're anything but. The major problem is that we have a group of people running the city of Oakland who do not want to give money to those on the street. They call themselves concerned about the homeless, but therein lay the problem. They are concerned about the homeless being comfortable as homeless. They're not concerned with how they make the homeless not homeless again. Now they would say that's not true, we have a tough shed. The city of Oakland right now could get $10 million free and clear, 12 million if you like, divided up say $3,000 per person and give it to those persons who are homeless, which would allow them to straighten out their situation. Then they can provide them assistance in locating decent housing, or uh, if the people wish to move out, they can use it to do that and go to families that they have uh, wherever they may be. That's their decision. But the city is not giving them money. They're not actually investing in the ability of the people who are homeless to not be homeless anymore. And their counter is, well, we're making, it com we're making them as comfortable as possible while they're homeless. That's not the point. Nobody wants to be homeless. And what we have in Oakland is we have an economy that's producing homeless people because we've had, for the last 25 years, uh, this admiration with tech that goes beyond logic. I was in meetings in 1996 when people were talking about bringing more biotech, and I asked the simple question, was our current electorate of the education levels necessary to take those jobs? And in a number of cases, the answer was no. Uh, but we did absolutely nothing about it. We never dealt with the fact that what we were trying to do was bringing in a new group of people to take those jobs. You try to bring that fact up in meetings and you get shouted down or not invited. And I'm talking about crucial, crucial meetings with decision makers at the time. I'm not gonna name names. But this problem we have has the, the gantry around which it was launched has been built in stages for the last over 25 years. The coup de grace in terms of the society that would prevent its development in terms of this homeless population was the elimination of redevelopment law in California and with it the 20% set aside which created a gigantic affordable housing budget. Now some would say, well, that money was not always used for the right purposes. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. There is no program in the world that works perfectly from a moral standpoint. That is just a simple fact of life. But the question is, more often than not, does it do its job? And in the case of redevelopment and affordable housing money, the answer was yes, it did. So now we have a situation where that money is needed, but guess what? It's not there because we can't use tax increment financing on a large scale basis like before. We should be able to. And there's no city that has shown the moral imperative to do so, including Oakland. That's sad.